When they, this was actually the third uh, airport uh, of Talbot County. The first two were privately owned. Uh, they were in fields. They were sod runways. Um, this one was built as a war emergency measure. Uh, after the U.S. declared war on J uh, Japan and uh, Germany, uh, the German subs were all up and down the East Coast and the West Coast. And the military decided uh, we had to have surveillance all the time. So they built four or five hundred of these small airports up and down the East Coast. Uh, Easton was chosen. Uh, so they built this airport, bought three farms in 1942, and it was opened in July of 1943. Is there was a prisoner of war camp just here. It was across the street, had Italian and German uh, prisoners. And uh, Cecil Gannon, uh, the Gannon family, owns this farm across the street. He was born in 1930. Uh, when this airport opened, he was 13 years old. He said, I interviewed him. He said he clearly remembers every morning the prisoners being marched down the road here. It was a dirt road under armed guards, and they'd go out to where 50 is now. They'd load them in the farm trucks and on the wagons, and they'd go out and work in the fields. And no, it wasn't a secret. Uh, all, the, all the farmers uh, here, not all, but many of the farmers here, uh, used the prisoners of war to work on their farms. Uh, canning was a huge, huge industry here then, and, and these fellows would go work in the canning canning, you know, loading uh, cases of tomatoes and so forth. I mean, what, after the war, once the airport got going, uh, Maryland Air, the, the earliest uh, uh, airline, was moved here by its owner. Um, and they had regular scheduled flights to uh, Baltimore uh, and eventually to Washington. Uh, you could charter flights to Ocean City or Rehoboth Beach. So it, it became a general aviation center uh, for Talbot County.